I know I said I was back and then I went away again. So where have I been? It's again been a few months since I put any programming up. First off, I still have a day job and I love my day job, but guess what my day job is? I'm a media producer and I'm producing lots and lots and lots of media videos like four or five every week and it's creeping into my over 50 and learning to fly, uh, learning to fly time. But I did get some news. I got my transition date, we don't use the word retire, and I will be transitioning out of full-time work in October of 2023. So I have 11 months to go. The second is I am doing a lot of flying. In fact, a ton of flying. I have passed a thousand hours and I'm actually coming up on 1200 hours right now. So I have been super, super busy. So my flying has obviously changed. Now I'm still doing a lot of leisure trips in the Cardinal and a lot of trips between Tampa and Charlotte and Tampa and Washington DC and all around Florida. And I am having an awesome time. But now my flying has shifted from solely recreational flying to becoming more of a job and not a bad job, just an awesome job. So there's one thing to take note of here for all you guys around as your hours are starting to build up. There was an awesome change in my flying that happened right around 800 hours. My flying and my attitude and my mentality and my thought process really changed from being this leisure pilot to more of a mission based pilot. It's really become more of a job, which is really awesome. And it's changed my whole way of thinking. And I'm started to think and behave and like a professional pilot now, especially moving up to the 210. Now, every pilot that I've spoken to has said the same thing about the Cessna P210 is that you've got to treat this plane like an airliner. And they are exactly right. The 210 is a completely different aircraft to fly and it's really my first big boy plane. I put about 150 hours in the 210 this past year and I feel I'm just sort of getting the hang of this thing. The best thing about the 210 is you can cruise along at 18 to 20,000 feet at about 200, 210, sometimes 240 over the ground depending on your winds and you can actually get to where you're going in a short amount of time. It is a fantastic airplane. Now, remember Invisible Angel that I made that announcement that we started uh, that ministry last year. That is doing fantastic. So one thing we discovered very quickly is we really can't put Invisible Angels out there on social media and out there in general because of the obvious security concern. But We've had six rescues in 2022, multiple transports, and the big news is that we pulled $1.8 million out of the hands of human traffickers this year. So for more information on Invisible Angels, go to invisibleangels.org and have a look at the videos we have on our site, and that will tell you the story of our first year. It has been absolutely amazing. Now, if you've donated to Invisible Angels, I wanna thank you from the bottom of all of our hearts at Invisible Angels. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, because your donations have actually saved lives. And on our site is we are preparing for our fundraising for 2023. So go to invisibleangels.org, have a look at the videos, have a look at what we got going on there, and thank you again. Now, this is really cool. I got an email a while ago from a subscriber of this channel, and he, told me he started flying around 2016 the same time I did, you know, maybe a little bit before, and he just got a job with FedEx. So guys, this is possible. This can happen, and this actually is happening. Now, I transition out of my government job, I hate the word retirement, next October, and by then I'll have around 1,500 hours. So I'm looking at smaller 135s that can give me a flexible schedule that I could fly for, and yes, that will be career number five as an airline pilot. This is all possible and it could be the same for you. Now, the big question that I have for you is, where do you wanna take your flying? Remember, wherever you wanna take your flying is perfectly fine. You don't have to do anything other than what you wanna do. There's no rule book. If you wanna buy a Cessna 152 and take yourself out for $100 hamburgers, that is awesome. Or if you want to buy a nice Cirrus and be able to take your family and wife for awesome weekends and vacations and fly it around for work, that is just as awesome. It doesn't matter what you do, 
but it does matter that you define what you're going to do with it because you'll have a goal and once you have a goal you'll be able to work toward it kind of the same thing like plan your flight and fly your plan the same thing translates into life so it's like what I said before guys it's all possible it's all what you want to do the only thing you have to do is define where you want to be and you will get there so I thank you so much for watching. I thank you so much for subscribing. I am so sorry that I have been MIA, but I am still here. And I thank you guys for watching. And my content might be a little sporadic between uh, now and this year as I'm so busy at work and flying. But I thank you guys for staying with me. Reach out. Give a call, give an email. Please let me know how you're doing. Post videos on that Facebook page. I thank you so much for supporting uh, Invisible Angels. I thank you so much for supporting this channel. And if you're over 50, get up and get in the air. See you later.